All right, guys. I hope we are live because we've had some uh, very interesting uh, stuff going on with setting up our new live stream. Uh, and yeah, hello, uh, welcome everyone. This is our first like testing developer live stream for the upcoming 0.62 update for the stable branch, which we hope to drop uh, to the stable branch later today. Here with me is uh, our lead producer, Eugene Harton. Eugene, hey. Hey guys. Uh, and also we have our uh, very recent star from our Q&A video, uh, our senior map designer, uh, Adam Franzu. Adam, hi. Hello. The goal of this stream is to have a little chat about, the, about what's coming up with the 0 0.62 update. Uh, obviously, we've been live for a little bit on the experimental branch. Eugene, how, how long has it been since we've launched an experimental? I think it's warm. it actually has been launched on 24th. Yeah, and so far we've been getting pretty amazing response. I would say let's let's pat our backs a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be I would be uh, a bit um, shy about that, but yeah, I do believe that the visual upgrade, at least the part that that got live, uh, has been has been a huge success for the people and the core players uh, that actually tried out the update and the visuals, especially for the forests. I think think we hit. Uh, something that's really amazing, and the content creators has have actually made some amazing stuff. Yes. Uh, just because of that. Speaking of content creators, actually tied within this live stream, we have a like a commu little community event going on on our con content creators 0.62 server, and actually huge shout outs to our community manager Buddy, who's right now playing with the people with several other devs. Uh, let's have her on the screen. Hopefully she's there. And uh, <laughs> the most important piece of information in okay. this very special day when we are live streaming for the first time, <laughs> Buddy actually has her birthday today. So huge shout out to our community manager, Buddy, who's live streaming Daisy f like first time in her job and she's actually doing it on her birthday. So huge <laughs> shout out to Buddy. Uh, I think we have a full server of content creators up, if I'm correct. Yes. So hopefully they're having fun and then the event is about uh, our developers protecting uh, one of the new castles on the western border of the map. Mm -hmm. And uh, our awesome community content creators are supposed to uh, destroy our developers, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's already happening. <laughs> yeah. People are dying already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but let's get back to, the, to, to what the 0 0.62 update is actually all about. Adam, uh, for how long have you been actually working on the update, like um, CCA? <laughs> well, there were a lot of parts, like the preparation phase uh, was already in progress for like, uh, let's say, 10 months, maybe. And now uh, map designer Mark already started preparing placeholders for trees and designed in the layout uh, how different templates for different tree species and yeah. how the new forest will actually look. And what we can actually uh, allow with the current technology we have. So yeah, about 10, 11 yeah. months. And we've actually been in a situation where we'll obviously we're aiming for the 0 0.63 update, which is what everybody uh, is exp like e what everybody wants from Daisy, and 0 0.62 is is the kind of update that we want to provide to to people in in between and in, in between we tackle all these huge yeah. tech changes. So there was uh, actually two teams working on two updates of the game mm -hmm. at the same time, and so how many people were or who are you like? Let's have some shout. Let's have a Let's give some credits to the other guys who also worked on the 0 0.62 update, basically. How, how, many, how many were there, who, who they are, and maybe like, yeah, just tell us about the rest of the team. Oh, okay, I can try. <laughs> so, uh, from map designer team, like, uh, Mark has been a huge part of the 0.62 update because he was planning all the forests and how the new trees should look and how it should all fit together. And it, it was, of course, also me. We are two, only two map designers in the team. So uh, next, we have programmers, two programmers. Uh, Miva, who has been working on the wind shader for the trees and for the grass and other visual changes. And also Honza Zeleny, who has been working on the rain changes. Uh, yep. So, and then we have a 
couple of guys from the Bratislava team who did awesome work on the new three models. And uh, we also have Senshi who made the grass models and ground textures. And yeah. we also have uh, Andre from sound design team and other yes, guys. That, that is from a very there. big part of the update, yep. actually. So yeah, uh, that that's that's that was actually like that was the uh, zero point sixty two as we call it strike strike team, right, yes. Eugene? So well, Eugene, maybe this is this is your area. T tell us why we, why did we divide our developers into this like two groups working on zero point sixty three and zero point sixty two? So most of the uh, uh, data expectations from what we can achieve uh, on the side of visuals are now not tied to a lot of technology that we uh, aim to create. Uh, most of the technology that now in works and basically what will appear in beta uh, in the future uh, is tied to the player and, and the movement and the gameplay. Everything will be in the new script. Uh, but the visuals is something that's that's easily separable and basically could work alongside the um, development of the beta itself. Uh, and then we felt that it was the best way uh, to show that we are not stopping uh, the I didn't do anything at all and we want to get the game out as soon as possible uh, with the beta client. Yeah. I think this is a very, very important piece of information. Sometimes people just think we gave up and I like we, we couldn't be further from, from that. Like, what, what we've been seeing, obviously, in the offices is, like, everybody is working so hard. So please, guys, trust us. We are really working hard. We are still this, hiring. This There's a lot of people say. working here all the time. Yeah. Uh, there are two studios uh, working on Daisy at the moment. I, so I think that's actually a great point. I don't think that many people know that we have actually two separate offices for Daisy, and they are, like, what pretty far from each other. Oh, we have a couple people here, here, in here, Brno uh, uh, working on some of the engine parts. We have a couple people, not a couple, a lot of people in Bratislava and a lot of people in Prague. So the team is quite large. And... Like I did a small interview like um, quite two weeks ago maybe, and I touched the subject uh, quite briefly there. But really do believe that we're gonna have a good game uh, with the beta. It's 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 a huge change, and hopefully you will be able to see it uh, soon enough. But in the meantime, uh, we should be able to enjoy the visual update at least. Uh, it's not the end of the visual update, of course. Uh, we're gonna be patching it in the next few weeks, uh, touching a um, couple of the issues that are still there and also it's not the end of the visual upgrade itself uh, because we still expect oh, yeah. roads, right uh, rocks yeah. and a and lot of like assets uh, changing in the future. Did you make it over there? Right. Uh, I'm just quickly watching the chat and people obviously okay. like there's a comment that uh, Cybot one, two, three. Somebody wants us to sing a birthday song for Buddy. I don't <laughs> think we're gonna do that. <laughs> no, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, guys. Yeah. Not today. No, no, sorry. That would actually be very terrible. We bought donuts. That should be enough. Yes. Uh, all right. So th these were some some. Uh, so these were the strike teams. Oh, 0 0.62, 0 0.63. Adam, maybe now, since we are an. Actually, I think I can say that now. Maybe I said it already. We are going to drop 0 0.62 stable today. So after this live stream ends, you guys will be, everybody will be able to play it. And so Adam, uh, what, what are some of the most, what are the most important changes in 0 0.62? Okay. So the goal of 0.62 update was to uh, increase the visual fidelity of Chernarus. And I guess the biggest part in that plays the new trees, mo three models. We have now over 120 new models. We have regenerated all the forest parts on Chernarus. Uh, that means we have increased the object count to roughly 2.8 million objects. Wow. <laughs> it's mostly trees and bushes, a few buildings there and there, but <laughs> most of <laughs> just trees. So the forests are definitely much more dense than they were before. Uh, big focus was on the variety of the new landscape, I guess. Uh, that means we have a lot of more ground surfaces that have different variations of clutter. And we, we are using the new coloring technique for the trees itself. So the same model of tree looks different on different places on the map. So it, it really creates nice autonomous feeling. 
With that, we have also got quite a lot of map changes. Oh my Most God, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but obviously somebody killed Buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Guys, that, that was not very nice. Let's, it's let's her birthday. Let's be nice to her. Yeah, please save her. <laughs> okay, so, okay so the map changes were also a big part. Uh, uh, most noticeable, I guess, is the change in the western border of Chernaros, which previously been quite boring landscape, but it's been completely redesigned, new terrain, new forest layout. It's still not finished. This is just the first phase that you will see in the point, update point six two. But this step in the right direction, I hope. We've seen quite good feedback on that too. So I hope you will enjoy it on stable. And yeah, big, another big part of the visual update is of course the sound. Yeah, it's a visual update with sound update. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, ob un unfortunately our, our audio master uh, Andre is right now taking care of the stream audio, so uh, unfortunately we cannot have him featured here. He's right now wearing his headphones, uh, <laughs> probably being very nervous about what the hell are we doing here. Uh, so yeah, but shout outs to Andre, our sound designer, yep. who's also done some great work and will continue doing a very good job, I believe, during 0.63. We're expecting a lot of changes to the, the sound engine, engine itself. Um, there's something that we call sound sets, and we uh, started implementing it with, with weapons first, now it's basically positional environment audio, and we're going to keep implementing that in different parts of the game uh, in the future. And beta will hopefully benefit from all of that. All right. So let's let's take a look at the chat. Maybe there's some interesting questions regarding 0 0.62. Obviously, everybody's excited about 0 0.63, but too <laughs> soon, guys. Too soon. We still have a lot of work to do. Uh, yeah, everybody's asking about 6.63. That's unfortunate. Adam, what is your actually what is your favorite uh, what is your favorite part of the of the new map uh, updates? What, what's your what's your favorite new spot? I guess it's just the forest itself. It changed a lot, and I just okay. enjoy walking in the forest. Yeah. So, like so the first thing you recommend everybody doing uh, the first time yeah. they launch the just zero jump in the forest. <laughs> yeah. Well, th that will happen obviously right away, <laughs> most of the time. But yeah, but I think you're very proud of the western border changes. So yeah. Well, what's been added on the western border of the map? I, I so, like on, the on the stream you can see the new castle, which is the part of the western border changes, but it's not all. We've been doing some great changes in the Zelenogorsk town, added bigger military base, new rail railroad station. Actually, speaking of the railroad, the uh, whole western border actually contains new west, uh, new railway network, which should help you orientate in there a little bit. Yeah. It also has quite special forest type that is not present everywhere else. It's dead forest on the uh, big plateaus on the western part, just creates quite unique look too. Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of changes coming on the western part. But I won't be spoiling that <laughs> just yet. <laughs> All right, we finally got some 0 0.62 questions in the chat. So, Adam, uh, are there any more changes? You've said that kind of, but are there any more changes coming during 0 0.62 to like either on experimental or on stable branches? Okay, okay, so we are currently planning for the new update, uh, up update of grass visual because we are not quite satisfied with the color that it mostly has on the map, so we are still working on the tweaks for that. So definitely expect update on grass. Can you explain how that works? Because that might be quite interesting, like how the color of the grass actually happens. So yeah, there are several aspects that actually affect the grass color. Most signi oh, significant, of course, how the textures look, how the materials are set, but it also affects the satellite texture. We are basically still using no, somewhat no, no, version don't from don't Arma 2 satellite don't texture. It's quite hard because it's quite big picture, big texture that we need to manage. So there are some experiments we are trying on that super texture, basically. It has 15 by 15 pixels, 15,000 by 15,000 pixels. So we are trying some experiments how we can uh, possibly darken it, and uh, so it actually affects the grass less. So it's not usually we are, we are basically trying to make the grass look less bright, 
on most of the parts of the map. Yeah. That's, I guess, the biggest goal, but it's not just that. We are also changing the little color colors of clutter in forests too. So, yeah, overall tweaks, we are still not satisfied with that, and we will try our best to update it. So it actually right, come here, Mother Parker, looks like we want. That's definitely coming for update 0.62. There, there are a lot of more changes, but we will ultimately we will need to leave update 0.62 as it is and continue developing on the internal branch 0.63. So quite a lot of additional uh, visual updates, I guess, are will be coming later, as Eugene said, basically. We basically need to refocus all yep. the resources we have within the teams, both in Bratislava and Prague, to focus Stop on data. Distracting hasn't been that large, but it involved Stop artists laughing. in Bratislava. Like uh, so let's imagine uh, 15 people maybe working that over time, some of them more, some of them less. Uh, but I do expect all of those people uh, to actually join the main branch and, and continue on the beta. All right. Speaking of which, I think... Uh, uh, Oh, hold on. There's there's a very interesting question. Uh, up on your, so on in your 0 feet. 0.62, are on we going to see any of the? I think we've teased up. some changes to the Northwest Airfield pre previously. Right. Are we yep. going to see any this changes right. to the Northwest no. Airfield? We, oh, obviously, <laughs> this is one of the most <laughs> favorite PVP spots. Oh, yeah. uh, it's been teased in la uh, like in uh, status report a few weeks back. That was intentional, but. Change for Northwest Airfield will definitely be Board not included in the update point way. system, okay. but it will be coming way. later. That right. way. So it's zero point surprise, guys. Yeah. <laughs> coming through. Make way. Make way. Right. Alpha's Anything coming. More interesting go from right. The chat. You know which way to go. Go uh, right. Let me see. What the hell is happening there? I see very very make way! Hostage coming through! Make way! I'm not sure if the castle... And, and oh. better is captured. Okay, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they can get Up oh you go! Alright, I'm coming after okay. you. Okay, lots of questions about Funny if we're going to push 0 0.60 to update. Right. Yes, guys, Funny we are... Right. Literally, when, when we the say that, guys, release the update, they will release the update, and within a couple of minutes, hopefully, it will be live. So when the live stream ends, you will be able to play 0 0.62 on stable today. So Come that's going to happen. We got one of yours. Stay close there, Jake. I'm going to have to use the <coughs> shield. No hot feeling. <laughs> What is in a hostage situation there? You get him? Uh, sorry guys, Push just up. to explain, we got the live stream, like we see the live stream obviously with the delay, everyone, the everybody else, so we have like, we don't have to <laughs> There's still someone trying to defend. <laughs> oh, and he's dead. <laughs> Oh. All right. <laughs> so, guys, any, any, st anything you still want to say about 0 0.62 before we invite, uh, before we invite Peter on the couch? All so, right. what is the hardest part? Do we have a stay like from Barry if you need it? I got a stay like. I guess yeah. the biggest and hardest part was the preparation okay. phase, basically trying to figure out what what trees are we actually need, how the forest will look, how dense can it actually be. So, yeah, there was a lot of time spent on that. We actually spent a lot of uh, time on the technological challenges that, that Ada mentioned here, and uh, we have a couple tools that we use for even the, uh, to check the performance of the map uh, itself. And, and how long does it take to check the performance on the map and create the graph and the performance? And so what's the timeline of that? On our usual setup, it takes like 15 hours to basically so get... So just imagine that if we, if we make a change to a map, it takes 15 hours to check all the locations on the whole map to see if the performance is okay. So every night, Adam would come here and actually start the, start the performance check and the benchmark. Yeah. It's very, very interesting. Do we still need the tailor or no? All right. No, silence, click. Uh, Looking oh, yeah. for any yeah. further yeah. questions. Oh, here's Jack on, yep. Oh. Yeah, and we know the sound is a bit iffy. Uh, hopefully, it will get better over time. So, guys. Yep. Andre will be working very hard. Like, we've, we've obviously, throughout, experiment, throughout the experimental phase, we've pushed out a couple of updates to the audio levels and this kind of stuff. So, I think we will be maybe continuing with that. 
and uh, obviously based on your feedback we'll see how that works we want to get better for sure and again yes guys the 0 0.62 update is going to be live after we end this live stream all right well Adam I think you can uh, safely join the rest of the castle fighters right now I'm not sure anymore. if you're yeah, still alive <laughs> yeah if you're still alive but yeah uh, let's invite let's invite Peter on the couch actually our lead designer <coughs> Peter come on Let, let's change the mic <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Alright, Adam, thank you very much. You. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, are we still playing? Yes, I got him. Right. Did I get him? People are happy about the castle. Guys. I actually love the view from that castle. Hey, minder. B buddy, what, what's the status? Like, is there any winners or losers? We don't know. We have no idea. You we don't see that. Did, did I get there the guy still might be something just alive. Yeah, you got him, you got him, and then I tell you. Okay, cool. Oh, let's How did you? What? What, what All right. The? Oh, the game audio is too loud. <laughs> I, I'm, I hope we can do something <laughs> about that. Wait, what? Wait. Uh, Sorry, guys. Sorry to be ruining isn't your some, ears. Hey, come on, let's be try to uh, mix the audio real well. But let's all throw the armbands off the console. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah. Let's have a photo, guys. Let's have a group photo. All right. Oh, okay. Throw the arm yes, guys. guys. So there's a question about maintenance. Hey, yes, buddy, maintenance will be over oh, okay. as soon so as rude. we push the 0 0.62 to stable branch. That is the only come reason here, why the servers are in maintenance right now. I don't feel sorry. Kill for a whole team, to be honest. I wouldn't be sorry. Also, one of the Why things that I you see on the plan, on the screen, uh, basically the plastic <laughs> heads, as they have been referred, is one of the bugs that has previously the manifested are. itself as black yeah, heads. And Peter is here. Yeah, Peter is coming. Hey Hello, guys. Peter. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, here we go. we're doing very good. I hope the people on the other side are doing good as well. Yeah, it seems like the attackers win. <laughs> like, uh, I died like in yeah. very first seconds of the event, oh, so <laughs> it was well. kind of disappointing for me. Yeah. All right, so Peter. Uh, oh, actually, maybe I'll start with Eugene. So, the reason we had 0 0.62 is that we uh, basically wanted to provide some meaningful updates as we work on the 0 0.63 changes. Basically, we're pushing a huge, not really change to a vision, but actually the fulfillment and big the dream come true, uh, coming with beta hopefully, uh, where Peter is the main guy behind it. Uh, what the beta will be. Um, maybe we can talk about that <laughs> later part of the stream. <laughs> uh, this is bad. But yeah, the main main bad. reason was that we still have core players who play it, the game. It's bad uh, we want to come back. Can I uh, take huge, a hacker? Uh, hopefully, hack, hack really soon. Can I take uh, a picture? With the changes please? that we have been working on heavily yeah. in the last four years. However, as I said, the visuals are are part of the game that we can update separately uh, because a lot of the data patterns are not going to change in the in the near future and it's something that we can do easily enough with not that much not that many people uh, so that we actually don't start resources for the beta and I think it has been a huge success so far All right. 62. it's looking amazing uh, I think the art team and uh, map designers uh, make a really good job and it's looking awesome. I really enjoy it. Uh, however, this uh, is like the end of uh, all Daisy, I think. So hopefully with the 63, the beta, uh, we will start the new era. Uh, and I'm uh, very, very, <laughs> uh, very happy to, to see this, to, like how it uh, becoming true yeah. like all of the core features we are working on currently uh, with guys here in design team and with programmers it's it's a <laughs> awesome job Peter I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you but we, we obviously we forgot to moderate our chat for some reason so we are getting <laughs> walls spent by by random people that want free daisy <laughs> yeah sorry guys that that's not going to happen at least not anytime soon <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. It seems like the chat is fixed now. That that was that was definitely fun. Thank you, mods. <laughs> Thank you, guys. 
you you would not imagine how we were like working really hard this entire afternoon to actually get this stream working together <laughs> this like this is okay, the f and i i'm not sure if uh, guys can see where we are sitting right now maybe yeah. it would be uh, awesome to show them uh, a little bit of the office because uh, currently we are sitting in the designer's office basically yeah so i i think may maybe we can do that but i think it'll be extremely blurry Evo, ca can you do something for us? Can you take the camera and just show people around the office? Because we're sitting literally in the middle of the office. You mean the camera on the construction? Yes, on our awesome, <laughs> on our awesome, uh, like this like might become a problem. Just button, like a very ah okay ah okay okay uh, maybe what about the webcam? No, let 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 let's do it. Let's try it. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Let's see what happens. People want it. People get okay, it. Okay, so. <laughs> It's exciting, guys. Things are <laughs> happening. <laughs> Please don't look at the whiteboards. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there is a button. I, I think it's actually working. From what I'm seeing, it's actually working. So you can, like, do... If it's possible, you can do a turnaround. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, we, s we still have, like... We still have people please, actually please working in here during the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> just, be, just be safe. So yeah, so are there any questions? Yeah. Like that, that, that's our design. Uh, all right, I'm trying to figure it out. Everybody is obviously asking 0 0.62, but we're not ready. Uh, 0 0.63, but we're not uh, ready to talk much about it yet. Uh, yes, again, guys, 0 0.62 is coming to stable after we end this stream. I think we will be ending the stream in about 30-ish minutes. And so that that's hopefully when the update is going to, going to drop to, to stable branch. So what do you enjoy most about the O sixty two? Like I still get lost in the forests again, which is which is amazing feeling. Like actually the birch forests and, 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 and the colors playing. Uh and the sounds actually getting into it. And I actually evade cities now, which is interesting, because I just like spent all my time in forests. And I know you like to dig up worms <laughs> for yeah, food. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> As my specialty to keep me alive <laughs> a bit. Well, actually, as I said, like uh, the wall, wall update, uh, which is uh, mostly visual and, and audio, is uh, really great. Uh, I love it. There is uh, so much stuff being done on the with the particles, the falling leaves in the forest, the actual models of the trees and textures. Uh, the new wind shader is really amazing. I think the programmers made a really good job. So do you think it affects PvP at all? Because the whole screen is moving at the same time? Yeah, of course. Uh, especially that uh, more dense and tall grass, it's uh, much much better for the PvP. You can, you can hide on the closer distances, uh, closer distances but uh, we definitely need to uh, do something with the... With the mid and longer distances mm -hmm. when there is no grass at all but we have, s we have some stuff uh, uh, in the sleeve maybe we will see how it will work out we need to we need to test it first but uh, currently as I said we are focusing on other stuff like really core features of, uh, of DAISY and to make it work for, for beta uh, and it's it's really wide spectrum as uh, Daisy is kind of, I'm not sure if I can say it, but it's uh, a little bit feature free. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we are working hard on the, on the new, new character representation and uh, uh, firearms, newly, uh, new selections and, and crafting will be amazing. All the dynamic target selections uh, in the world will make the game more, more fluid, more seamless. Uh, new character controller, uh, animators with uh, with programmers are doing great stuff, and it, it, it will really feel like a, a different game. I personally like to call it like Daisy 2.0, but uh, <laughs> of course it uh, it uh, wouldn't be that. Uh, but yeah, but that, that's uh, what I mean. The the experience will be so much so much different. 
with beta. Back to 0.62 for a little bit, Eugene. There was a good question in the chat. How is the performance of the 0.62 update? So to understand what our goal is, uh, we expect the game, uh, basically the system requirements for the game that are currently uh, on Steam Store, uh, they are still um, basically uh, not decided fully, and the game will fluctuate uh, from mid-range to high-range PCs, of course, uh, but we do expect the game on uh, minimal settings to run on the minimum configuration with at least 30 FPS and we hope to hit 60 with the medium configurations. So what we aim for basically is if we gain any performance above that, we want to Im basically improve the visuals uh, and, and get something from it because otherwise uh, it would be wasted for the most part at least. All right, but compared to 0 0.61, I think that was where the question was headed. Okay, so Because obviously there was a little bit of a visual upgrade. Yeah. Uh, the, the performance itself, like I think we stayed within the limits that I just talked about. Um, the forests came down a bit uh, as far as performance goes. Uh, the city stayed mostly the same because we tried uh, to, during the benchmarks that we talked about with Adam, uh, that basically do the whole map, we're checking for the, uh, for the areas on the map that were actually suffering from the changes of the forests. And the performance currently uh, is somewhere where where we find it acceptable, but there are more optimizations coming over the next few months, especially for the beta client. Uh, and currently, we're safe to say that that we're we're quite we're happy with what we have. Cool. Uh, I honestly, I am very happy with what we have in Daisy. It's it's very. I'm on my very like old potato PC <laughs> at home. Um, uh, this is literally like five years old PC. I can still play the game at very nice details. Yeah, that's an actually a, a thing that, that I find very interesting. That a lot of people still play it on, on uh, some of the potato computers, yes. as you said. I uh, am one of those people. Yeah, yeah. Even when you look at the Steam stats, you still see people playing it on even Mac, Linux, and different emulators, or even <laughs> with all the graphics cards as far as like GTX 400 uh, or 500, I don't remember correctly. Um, but it's interesting that it still runs and people are enjoying it that way. Yeah. I can say I'm enjoying my Daisy sessions very much. Just to explain why I say this, before coming to Bohemia, I was actually just a regular Daisy fan, and I got my dream job here. <laughs> so I, I remember your tweets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I am basically like I I'm with you guys. I'm basically one of you. I just am lucky enough to sit here on this couch. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, all right. It, it was actually a funny thing because it wasn't the first project that, that Martin got into when he got into Bohemia, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he wasn't excited about that at first. Uh, Daisy was the was the dream job, wasn't it? P publishing games in general. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I, I see the human flesh in there. Oh man! I would not expect that from you, buddy. I am disappointed. Come on, it's her birthday, so <laughs> he can do That's whatever she wants. That's how you do wants. community management, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just want to eat the people. That's true. <coughs> oh, right. <laughs> All right. Any more interesting questions, guys? Guys, are you are you seeing something, or should we slowly start preparing for the for the update? Maybe. No, not yet. Eugene. Not yet. We can talk about anything. I'm not. I'm not worried yet. All right. Sorry, guys. Fifteen more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, the chat is going very strong. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, yeah, I actually see it, <laughs> but I had to clean my glasses like quite yeah. a bit. <laughs> I need glasses apparently because yeah. it's like. To provide a little bit of context, Update. guys, All we, caps. we have the chat screen like on a huge 30 something inch screen right in front of us, but it's not even enough. We have to up our game a little bit the next time we stream. Yeah, mm. that's uh, actually a good question. Uh, the central loot economy, we can maybe talk about that. Hey, actually, uh, like I uh, wrote in the like, I think it was uh, two episodes back. 
Uh, we have completely rewritten and refactored uh, central economy. Uh, we have new ways how to define it and uh, how to set all that uh, points. So if you guys uh, didn't see it, just check that uh, status report. Uh, in short, uh, there is, uh, it, will be, it will be defined in the XMLs. It will be all uh, basically real time. So, so you can, you can uh, define it uh, like you wish. You will see uh, the result in the game, basically. You can define all the spawn points uh, directly from the free cam. Uh, like from the spectator cam in the in the world in the buildings, and uh, it's really powerful. And uh, also there will be uh, different uh, different mm, how to say it, like uh, management between the areas, categories, and and tags. So hopefully, I think uh, or I hope so. Uh, the economy will be in really good shape for the meta. So, so yeah, why do you think the problems that people are complaining about now happen? Well, actually, there are some, some uh, I don't want uh, to say issues, but uh, we have uh, some lifetime for items. So the items are set like for about uh, 45 minutes, then they will start to be deleted by the central economy and uh, new items will be spawned. So that uh, circulation of loot is... Uh, Quite slow. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm afraid we can't make it uh, faster because uh, then it then the queue of the items which needs to be respawned it's uh, quite uh, large and it will clock the server performance. So with that new uh, central economy system, uh, we will have uh, much more resources mm -hmm. to do that. So hopefully we'll see. Uh, much faster loot circulation. So, mm -hmm. if there is some gun spawned somewhere in the in in some house that nobody goes in, it will be despawned quite uh, early and will be spawned somewhere else, basically. So, mm -hmm. that's it. So, when the item spawns, what happens exactly? What do you, what what does it actually check? Uh, can you walk us through it, maybe? Like. Um I'll have. Uh, so let's say there are not enough guns in game. What happens? We have basically two ways uh, how to tackle this. Uh, we can either spawn the item uh, like per one piece. So for the rare items like I don't know M4 or SVD, we are spawning them by piece. So when the lifetimes end, it, it's deleted. Uh, then there is some kind of. Uh, counter and when it hits uh, zero the new SVD will spawn. Mm -hmm. uh, on, the on the other side we can spawn also in books so when the items hit the minimum uh, value which can be set in the central economy uh, then it gets spawned to that nominal value like in books. So let's say there is 30 cans of uh, food missing so it will be spawned at one time mm -hmm. and with one tick. All 30 cans will be spawned uh, in the world. Uh, and basically, the central economy works uh, like we have set nominals, like 60 cans of uh, some kind of food. We have uh, minimum. When that minimum is uh, hit by mm -hmm. like players take those cans or it's despawned over time, uh, we start respawning it. And that's the respawning mechanism I just told about. Like we can spawn in books or buy one piece over time. And there are some interesting interactions with the tiers and the areas, basically, uh, that, that put the basically the items in the right place. And we'll still be battling uh, how the items will be placed in the world. So Yeah, of course, but the, that should uh, solve the new, new system of uh, spawn points. Exactly. Uh, like I write in the, in the like, status report, like, to the uh, back, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's kind of interesting because it doesn't. Mm, they have a little bit problem with the bounding boxes and in P3Ds, so, so we, are we are experimenting to do some new ones. New ones. So, that new so that new system will be placing uh, those items, items. Like, like they are not overlapping at all. Mm -hmm. We are fighting the issue like for a couple of 
months, years. Yeah. You were basically doing that just to focus on immersion, I guess. Yeah. Because like when and you enter the building, you need to feel like somebody, somebody, somebody actually was there, yeah. lived there. Maybe it was in the right place at the right time. Personally, to me, I, it doesn't uh, matter much uh, if I found the uh, shoes on the floor, mm -hmm. on the table. I would like, I would like to, to see more like uh, to find uh, clothing in the in the living room or in the bedroom mm -hmm. and and food in the kitchen, but it doesn't need to be right on the on the table. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to achieve is uh, when you come in the in the house, uh, you shouldn't know basically if it was left by the player or if it was spawned here. So, yeah, ex like the tension of it. Yeah, like when you when you spawn the rice on the shelf, you exactly know it was spawned by the central economy uh, because players doesn't have that. Uh, Mechanism, but to maybe with the placing system. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the advanced <laughs> placing it's <laughs> is being worked on, but currently, currently it's uh, it's uh, connected only to uh, things such as stamps, and barrels, mm -hmm. or plant mines and stuff like that. I, I think we're turning this live stream into a live uh, brainstorming session about the central economy <laughs> right now. <laughs> it was a very interesting question because the system is quite complex. I'm not sure we uh, we talked about it. Uh, uh, that much, and the live stream is actually a good place to do it. Anyways, uh, are there any other questions that we want to hit and cover? Uh, there is there is one more question, but before we do that, I just want to say to everyone, uh, the the changes to central economy and, and stuff, we always talk about these in, in quite detail in our uh, bi-weekly status reports, so I encourage everybody, every other Tuesday, they are usually coming up uh, later in the evenings, uh, the European time, I I really encourage everybody to read to go to our website daisy.com slash devhub or just daisy.com and check out the stars reports because this is guys where you where we supply you with all the latest uh, latest updates what we're working on uh, exactly. uh, what what's new and what are the new systems and especially Peter is often explaining like the new new designs and new functionality for the for the 0 0.63 updates sometimes it is a lot of lot of a uh, lot of reading. Uh, that yes, but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, with so much work to do, this is the only form that we can right now like provide you guys with. Yeah. But if you want to follow Daisy development information really closely, please go to daisy.com and read the bi-weekly bi status reports. It's really the ultimate source of your uh, development, latest development information. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So l let's get back to the question I was mentioning. Uh, this, is this is something. This is something related to 0 0.63 and the beta update. But I think we can already s already talk about that because it's going to play a huge role in Daisy. So when 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 are we going to see uh, modding implemented in Daisy? <laughs> okay. So uh, to explain that um, how we how we are approaching that. Um, so we didn't want to release modding, or our thought process was, we didn't want to release modding server files and everything that's tied into it before the beta, because a lot of the technology is going to change, and a lot of the mods, if not all, uh, would uh, be made obsolete with just that one update, and we couldn't keep everything in check for every modder out there. Um, so with beta, or shortly thereafter, we want to release modding, um, including, with the, including the toolset and the server files, and we're hoping some to some improvements uh, to every part of that, even from where we are now. Um, and some of the some of the stuff is really exciting. And I think modding will be a large part of Daisy going forward. It it basically came from there. Uh, it's it's where the mindset is. Bohemia has always been about community and creativity. Uh, you can see that in Arma, like the amount of stuff that people create and how the game changes, how the platform changes, I think Daisy is going to be the uh, good place to start for those people, for sure. All right, so basically the important message to take away from this is we do not want to implement modding before all the necessary tech changes are in, because basically if we even allowed mod at this point, uh, they would all become obsolete over time. Yeah. So that's the most important message. Even if we allowed modding, which at this point doesn't really make sense, all the mods, all the creations you guys would do would 
go to complete waste with the with the beta update. We so really wanted to avoid part. that, and I know it, it might uh, be hard for a lot of people, but I think it's still the best way going forward. Like we decided to go technology first because we want to build Daisy as a platform going forward, uh, both for PC and the consoles down the road. Uh, uh, going with PC first, but yeah, I, I really do believe uh, that that what we want to offer um, is going to be exciting for all of you. All right, we are getting nice uh, uh, spammings in the chat again. Thank you guys very much for that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's for free. Yeah, but yeah. Um, so. I think actually, since since we're live right now, yeah, maybe Eugene, you're looking for some questions. I don't think you will find any in there. <laughs> we're just getting wall spammed like completely crazy. <laughs> but it's uh, still interesting to see that. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I never been um, like it's 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 a funny thing because I want when I watch streams, I actually turn off the chat because I focus on the content <laughs> creator. So yes. it's a different different um, dynamic here, and, yeah. it's, and it's really interesting. Uh, all right. Oh, actually, I'm getting the news that we are getting close to having the all the stable servers up. But before we do that, Eugene, what? Actually, I think since we're live, let's talk about what's 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 like the day-to-day -day activity in the office. Like, what's what's take like what what's taking up most of your development time, guys? Actually, my day-to-day -day might not be that interesting, but Peter was actually dealing with some of the gameplay stuff. So maybe he can talk about that. What designs, what designs were you working on today? What, what does the game designer do, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, today it was uh, completely in the in the name of the new weapon system. So uh, we were working closely with uh, animators and programmers. Uh, actually, uh, we are working on ISDH uh, 18 and FNX 45. To to make it uh, really work with uh, all the bells and whistles, uh, and it's quietly being done together now. So it's really promising. All that uh, advanced uh, mechanics of guns, like uh, reloading, gun jamming, and uh, and chambering. It and I, I know you actually created a testing mission today just for the weapons. Yes, because like everybody is using another mission and like oh, it's not working and you can't attach the magazine. So like you still so do actually get hands on. Yeah? Uh, to prevent that, uh, I just created a mission so you spawn with all necessary stuff uh, in your backpack and just try it. So basically, you, you manage the discussions that are happening around the subject. People are coming to you asking for questions if they do not understand. But you still do get actually hands-on on some of the parts of the game and, and make something here and there. I have to, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so <laughs> Because like uh, even when there is uh, some kind of written design, uh, somebody understands a little bit different. So you really need to mm, manage people to focus on uh, the actual feature and uh, and and really, uh, how how it say in English? Uh, <laughs> uh, really understand really the subject. To really get it, uh, get uh, to the core of the problem. Uh, yeah. To to understand it exactly. So, uh, yeah, basically that's it. So. All right. M maybe one follow-up question. So, how how many designers actually work on Daisy right now? How, uh, well, I, I know that obviously, but yeah, <laughs> uh, there is uh, seven guys in Prague, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, five guys in in Bratislava. So it's like twelve designers uh, working full time on Daisy. And but the designer in this company is is a bit different. Yeah. Uh, because you still uh, do a lot of scripting work. Uh, yes. So we call it technical design. Yeah, uh, just exactly. so people understand exactly. what that means. So the designers here, the 12 guys that are working on, on, on the game, actually create a lot of the code that's behind some of the gameplay features you'll see in beta. Uh, or f if not all of the gameplay features you'll see in beta. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So if you would like, be, uh, if you would like to be a designer on Daisy, you, uh, it's not enough just talk about how stuff should be, but uh, you should be able to implement it. So. Yeah, basically that's that's what's happening there, and that's one of the things that that you guys see with the modding, because all, all of the work that guys are doing 
uh, is going to be expandable by you uh, in the future. And it's all based on the new script um, and all the challenges within. And hopefully connected with the new tool set, uh, like script editor, things like that, that are already available to the guys here. But uh, hopefully with the beta release and the modding coming uh, down the road. New scripting language is awesome. Yeah. Awesome. It have an uh, environment with all the stuff like uh, debugging breaking points and, and stepping in and out. It's, it's it's a whole new level from the <laughs> yeah, from that the SQF. That that is that is going to help you a lot with the future of future of Daisy as a platform exactly. as a game. Basically, the features wouldn't be a reality without that. Like you couldn't do the f stuff we want to make in the game uh, with SQF, um, and we wanted to move past that. Uh, and this is what we came up with, and I think it's working for us quite a bit. Yeah, definitely. All right, exactly. guys, that that's something for the future. But I am just receiving message that uh, we are actually ready to to drop the beast to, to <laughs> drop 0 0.62. What happened to chat? I, I like <laughs> to 0 0.62. That's to how a moderated chat yeah, looks like. Yeah, that that is a terrible disaster. <laughs> 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 Let, let's just be very honest about that. That's a very terrible disaster. But yes, I, I I'm just getting the message that we are uh, ready to drop the 0 0.62 update uh, on stable. So I encourage everyone to just stop watching the horrible, <laughs> the horrible wall of spam we are getting in our, in our chat. Uh, get your get your Steam downloads ready, and uh, I guess let's let's meet you all. Let's meet you all in Chenoros. Exactly. Peter, will you still be playing after the stream, or are you going home? Are you too tired to do anything uh, right now? I I will I will play for a while, and then I will head home. Then. All right. Then let's see everybody. Let's see everybody on Chenoros. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in to our uh, very improvised live stream. <laughs> 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 I hope it was useful for uh, some of you. Uh, I think we definitely had fun doing it. It was amazing. Before. And uh, yeah, we'll see what. Hope more will come. Yeah, we'll we'll see what we do in the future. Definitely, one thing that we will do is we're going to moderate our chat a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> more moderators. <laughs> because what I'm seeing now is just. Yeah, that's beyond fun. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you guys for coming to the live stream. Thanks everybody for tuning in, and see you in Turners. See you in Turners. Ciao. See ya.